After the end of World War II, short takeoff and landing became a key focus in the field of aviation. Combat experience has proven that airports and similar targets are often the primary targets for attacks, and mastering short takeoff and landing technology will bring tactical advantages. In the late 1950s, the United Kingdom began researching the blown flap technology, which is closely related to short takeoff and landing. In 1959, the hunting H-126 was selected as the experimental aircraft to explore the related technology of blown flaps. The H-126 is a very unique aircraft. It has a large range of lift coefficient adjustment and incorporates many technologies for controlling engine exhaust. These technologies have greatly promoted the aviation technology in the United Kingdom. The H-126 has a similar appearance to early jet aircraft, but its internal structure is completely different. The fuselage uses traditional stressed skin with a cross-braced framework internally, reinforcing critical areas such as the engine. The aircraft uses a common nose intake, but the engine is installed further forward with the cockpit on top. The engine is a Bristol Siddeley bore. Orpheus MK805 turbojet engine with a thrust of 18 kN. The thrust is delivered through pipes to a vertical distribution manifold, which then flows to the wings and is expelled, creating a strong airflow on the wings. This system is very complex, with 16 nozzles on the wings and fuselage sides. The wing nozzles consume half of the engine's thrust. This technology is somewhat similar to the engine used by the later famous Harrier fighter, but the respective thrusts have different effects. The aircraft has a single upper wing with a relatively narrow width, which appears somewhat uncoordinated. The wing has a double spar structure internally, and there is a group of support structures underneath. The wing also features complex flaps and ailerons. The aircraft extensively uses conventional aviation aluminum alloys and other materials, which are not a problem in other areas, but pose a challenge for the wing structure because the thrust pipes generate a large amount of heat. Therefore, these pipes need comprehensive insulation measures, and multiple thermal sensing devices are installed to sound an alarm when temperatures are too high. The rear half of the fuselage tapers upward from the belly and adopts a conventional tail structure. The landing gear is a fixed tricycle configuration. Various test instruments, sensors, and flight recording devices are installed in the rear of the fuselage. The single-seat cockpit is located above the engine, with the pilot sitting on top to operate. Because the experimental aircraft does not require high-speed, high-altitude flight, the cockpit is not pressurized, but it is equipped with an ejection seat and oxygen supply. Originally, two prototype aircraft were planned for production, but due to certain issues, only one was produced with the serial number XN714. It made its first flight on March 26, 1963. Due to the dispersal of most of the engine's power, the aircraft had a very slow flight speed. The advantage was that the use of blown flaps greatly increased the lift coefficient, and the takeoff speed of the aircraft was only 51 km per hour, even better than most light propeller aircraft. This prototype aircraft was also transported to the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, in the United States for testing in 1969 and returned in May of the following year. It was decommissioned in 1972. This aircraft has greatly promoted the relevant technologies of both the United Kingdom and the United States. Its technology regarding the dispersal of engine thrust was later applied to the Harrier fighter. Although the Harrier had a higher accident rate, it was still a successful short takeoff and landing aircraft. The H-126 blown flap experimental aircraft had an empty weight of 3738 kilograms, a length of 15.29 meters, a height of 4.72 meters, a wingspan of 13.82 meters, a wing area of 20.5 square meters, and a single pilot. The takeoff speed was 51 kilometers per hour.